Close your eyes, watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. And be happy that you're here. You have this opportunity to develop the mind. It's an opportunity that very few people have. As with all the forms of merit, as the Buddha said, don't be afraid of acts of merit because Acts of merit are another word for happiness. You're finding a sense of well-being, a sense of your own worth, in ways that are harmless. There's so many ways that we look for happiness in the world that can be harmful to ourselves, to other people. But here's something that's totally harmless. You're being generous, under no compunction at all, no compulsion at all, because you're generous because you want to be generous. You observe the precepts, you look at your behavior and you see that you're not harming anybody. And you develop goodwill in the mind. I wish that everybody could be generous and virtuous, and that you're happy for other people when they are. In this way the happiness multiplies. So each time you sit down to meditate, remind yourself. You're doing something good. You're finding happiness in a way that is totally blameless. So you want to make the most of it, appreciate it, and that gives you energy. Because it's through this sense of well-being that the mind can settle down and it can see itself clearly. The reason we suffer in life is because we don't see ourselves clearly. A mood comes along and we jump right in. As a result, we don't know it. We just know that we're being pushed. It's only when you can step outside that you can actually know the moods. So you make the mind quiet so it can see things, understand itself, so that when it wants happiness, it really does create happiness. When it wants to avoid suffering, it can avoid suffering. That's the Buddhist message, is that suffering is something that can be avoided and can be ended by getting to know our minds. And we get to know our minds best when the mind is still. And the mind is still when it can have a sense of well-being. So we're generous, we're virtuous as a support for the mind so that we can understand the mind. And this way, the goodness that comes from our search for happiness just keeps growing. And erases any boundaries you may have that separate you from the ha happiness of other people. You say that your happiness and their happiness, if it's based on generosity, virtue, and meditation, all goes together. It's because of these qualities that we can live together as human beings and be happy that we are. <laughs>